people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac pase, what they do. Welcome to Jamaica Dancehall Source, your source for dancehall and our entertainment. Now this video is called Facts or Fiction. And the facts or fiction question is, was Sikarim actually responsible for those three persons, those three family members that got slapped away in Waterford, may I talk about Portmore? Was Sikarim actually S-H-O-T three times because of Vives Cartel, because of his allegiance or alliance with Vives Cartel? Now, when we analyze stuff, we have to start from the source and it was said that this information that was buzzing on social media came from a post that was made by Zip FM. Now when you think about Zip FM, we have to ask the question, is Zip FM an authority on security? Is Zip FM an authority on news in Jamaica like a TVJ or a CVM? Is Zip FM a radio station, an FM radio station? So my point is this, if they post something on social media, does it automatically become fact? Because based on information that I was getting at first, when those three persons, those three family members were slapped away, it was said that it was coming from a caretaker. I am speaking about a JLP caretaker. So therefore, it was a reprisal based upon that. Now, as soon as Sikarim pick up Khan, they start to change the story. The story start to change on social media. And people like them say, nobody likes the truth when the lie is more entertaining. And when we think about the fact that you start to associate Sikarim's and Vice Cartel in the story, it becomes more appealing. It becomes more intriguing. But when we think about the fact of when Sikarim's actually got caught up, we are talking about early in the morning, we are talking about in the wee hours of the morning. And based on the Popo report, based on documentation, it was said that he was in bad condition and taken to the place of recovery and then he got into critical condition so people let me ask you this question who is the person that is sending out this information so my point is this what kind of mindset was sicker rhymes in what kind of physical condition was he in in a bed in a one place of recovery trying to undergo surgery people let me ask if that makes sense if it makes sense that he already planned and orchestrated a conspiracy figure slap a three family member in a waterford people the truth and the fact is that it makes absolutely no sense the possibility or probability are very low so the moral of the story is this it might fly in the court of your opinion or someone's opinion or a minority opinion but it won't fly in the court of public opinion because that is majority rule and it definitely won't fly in any court in any land in any place in the world point blank and period now, according to some information also that is going on out there, it is said that Sikarim was being extorted by somebody in a Portmore. Now, when we think about Portmore, who is the name that is synonymous with Portmore? We are speaking about Vives Cartel. We are talking about the dancehall legend. So you are going to tell me that there is a possibility that somebody is going to violate Sika Rhymes in Portmore, knowing very well that Vives Cartel is associated with Sika Rhymes, knowing very well that Sika Rhymes is the right-hand man of Vice Cartel, especially since he has been incarcerated in the last couple of years. People, that makes absolutely no sense, point blank and period. And the next point that I am going to make that is very important in this whole theory that would shatter this whole theory is the fact that Vice Cartel is currently waiting on an appeal. So people, let me ask you a question. And I understand that some of these persons, some of these shooters in Jamaica are barefaced and them life to get credit for all sorts of BS. But let me ask you a very sensible question. Would Vice Cartel actually violate his appeal process knowing very well that he has been incarcerated for over eight years? Would Sika Rhymes or anybody in Sika Rhymes camp actually pull off some sort of reprisal or revenge and knowing very well that it is going to link back to vice cartel 
And Vibes Cartel is always going to be blamed for anything that is affiliated with the Gaza and Portmore. So people, when we think about the whole situation, logically, it makes absolutely no sense, point blank and period. Now, the next theory that I am going to shatter is the fact that persons are saying, I am speaking about specifically bloggers are saying that Sikarines pick up some con because of Vives Cartel, because of his link with Vives Cartel, because of his association with Portmore and Rete and Lele. But people, the truth and the fact is that based on how Jamaica is running right now, it could be anybody because the truth and the fact is that we see that a lot of these persons in Jamaica Jamaica are some set of hot head. We see that a lot of these artists, they are very hype. And don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not trying to say that Sika Rhymes was hype and he deserved exactly what he got. I am just saying that the possibility or probability is that it could have been anybody. So therefore, he could have went to a show and in a some altercation with somebody and then basically trail him to wherever he pick up the tack. And he also could have been in a spot and him and some people get in a some argument. So until we hear from Sika Rhymes or until we hear from some Somebody that was there on the scene of the crime we should just hold our judgment and stop speculating because people the truth and the fact is that people are actually speculating nobody has no facts there is no inside information from nobody in the camp people are just talking and running off their mouth and based on our social media and specifically YouTube run the more entertaining that you put your title is the more views that you are going to get and like I said before, nobody likes the truth when a lie is more entertaining. So therefore, I am speaking about clickbaiting. So therefore, they are amping up their title, point blank and period. Because the truth and the fact is that nobody has any sort of information right now. So therefore, we should just leave it up to the investigators and time to get more clarity upon the whole situation. Now, the next thing that I've noticed is that we've heard from Lisa Hyper. We've heard from Sean Storm and they are wishing Sika Rhymes the best. However, we've not heard from Vives Cartel and people, there is reason why Vives Cartel has not said anything. And obviously he is upset and obviously he wishes Sika Rhymes the best because like me said, that is his right hand man. That is his inside link from out of the street to in the big yard. So people, this is the reason why Vives Cartel has not responded. And the truth and the fact is that some people are going to say that silence is consent or silence is guilt. However, you have the rights as any legal person or any person for basically take the fifth. So that basically means that you have nothing to say, absolutely nothing. You are going to let justice take its course. Because the truth and the fact is that Vives Cartel understand that his name is easy to call. He understand that he does not have much luck as it pertains to the justice system and the popo and all kind of mix up and pasa pasa and rete and lele. He understands that he is on eggshell. He understands that he is under surveillance by the justice system. So anything that goes down, he is going to always be a S-U-S-P-E-C-T. He is always going to be a person of interest, point blank and period. So I am sure that Vives Cartel is in consultation with his lawyer from on the street. And that lawyer is going to tell him, just keep silent, don't say a word, take the fifth, plead the fifth, because you know how your situation is already. So it seems like he is making a very sensible decision because people, when you are in doubt, leave out, don't say a word, just hush, point blank and period. So anyways, people, like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.